Hey everybody, Plastic Cactus here, as sick as a sack of lepers, but don't think that'll stop me from playing some sweet, sweet relic hunting games. So, let's get right to it. As long as you don't mind a little bit of coughing here and there, we're gonna get along fine. The commander we're playing is Sig. Oh, god damn it. I didn't fix Sig yet. You know what? I'm gonna spend about five minutes before I jump in the game trying to see if I can fix the mana base. Because <laughs> I need to. Doing it up commando style with me and my internet friends. Okay, so we are going first, and I fixed the mana base, I'm pretty sure. I added a bunch of mana ramp. It only had like three. It had like Soul Ring and like a Signet and some other stupid card. Ah, uh, we can keep this. We can keep this, I think. Uh, there's this deck still needs a little bit of tweaking. Uh, it's pretty old. It's the very first tribal deck I ever made. Um, that's not remotely true. It's the very first tribal commander deck I ever made. Uh, cool. Stony Brook Burduski is pretty sweet. Um, I am going to play the seer Soaring Sea Cliff for no value just in case. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. We'll play it with no value. That's fine. Oh, he is Un. What the fuck is this shit? Jesus Christ. Where is everything? Wait. Huh? Oh, now they're over here? What the goddamn fuck is going on? How do I see his commander? Oh, son of a bitch! Oh, son of a bitch. Where's his command zone? Well, we know it's Una because it says so up here. And he said fear the rogue. I'll have to figure that out. Stupid stacks of... Everything's dumb. There was a patch. And now everything's stupid. Hey, guess what, though? Everything was stupid. Everything's just here? Oh, Jesus Christ, what's this? Is this his commander? That's his commander. Okay, so we... So now we can make it kind of like old school, except it's tiny. Whatever. It's over here. It stacks there. We got an invisible stalker on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. That could be something of an issue. That could be something of an issue. Don't like it. Don't freaking like it. Stony Brook, Banneret, uh, okay. I guess we could Sage of Fables next turn. What I'd really like is a Plains to come down, so Sig is available and so is the Thran Dynamo, and then we're okay against this rogue tribal deck. <coughs> Pardon me! That's prophesized. A little bit ill. Got some tribal versus tribal going on. Mystic study. Oh dear me! I'm glad I got the C. I've got I got the Stunnybrook Banneret. Glad I do. Go ahead, hit me for one, you butt, you stink butt. This is an island as well, right? Sure is. Underground sea. Yeah, yeah, that's an underground sea. All right. Let's, let's go planes. Hey, what did I say? Got the planes in the best of way. Um. Wizard 2, huh? Alright, we will do Sage of Fables. Always yield. Uh, I will pay the one. Done. Come on down, Sage of Fays. And then I hit for one with my Storybrook Banneret. Next turn, though, I do have to Thran Dynamo. But then I think I'll be good to go after that. Thran Dynamo, and then I'm good to go. Mmm, Una, Queen of the Th Fae. Could be dangerous, could be dangerous. I only have like three board wipes in this deck. <sighs> Just three. A Terminus, a Hollowed Burial, and then I think Marshall's Anthem. Is that, does that sound right? Fear the Rogues. Yes, I shall fear the Rogues and get hit for one. I can't block with my guys. You're a stupid invisible stalker. Hollowed Fountain. Nope. We will Thran Dynamo. Thran Dynamo. Next turn, I can, in theory, wander and wine profits. He gets to draw a card, but I think that's okay. It's pretty important I get the Thran Dynamo online, and then he doesn't actually get to draw any more cards. Since I won't be blocking anyway, we'll run in, hit for three, diddly doo, diddly dee. So, yeah, okay. 
Things are looking okay right now, but as soon as he drops a sword or something, we're in trouble. Not looking forward to that. And he could drop a sword and equip it right now if he really wanted to with the Mox Diamond. Hmm. I really, I don't, I don't like it, man. Where's the, where's the graveyard? I wish it could just stay here. You stay here. Okay, <clears throat> he's got this guy to eat my graveyard. But I don't have anything in there yet, so it's okay for now. He's a 2-1? Yeah, he's a 2-1. He's a 2-1. Um, so what do we do? What do we do? If we want to run profits, we get to keep counter up? No, we don't. We don't get to do that. Do we just water spout weavers? No, I don't think so. I think we're going to champion the Stony Brook Baronet, uh, which isn't the most ideal situation in the world. True, I f fix the mana. Ah, hinder. Oh well. He needed to hinder that. That was my best dude. We're going to let him draw a card because we'll play Sig as well. <clears throat> Plonk. Always yield. Pay it. There we go. All right. And I guess just the one one. I... Would prefer not to trade Sage of Fables at the moment. And Hinder put the guy on the bottom, so this thing's not flipping yet. I'm sure he's got a bunch of removal, though. So that's dangerous. It might be wise to leave Dissipate up. Might be wise. Capsize. Not going to do much anything yet, anyway. Can't target the Invisible Stalker. Hmm, I'm a little bit nervous. I don't have a whole lot of stuff going on, but the Water Spout Weavers should be good in theory. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. Just be here. Be here. Graveyard. Not a loosey-goosey thing for losers. Here comes Loser. Una, Queen of the Poonannies. Yeah. I could always, uh... Shit. All right, so I think I probably have to capsize that and then counter it if it comes down again. Which I can't do unless I get another blue. I didn't. Yikes. I do have to get rid of it, though. have to. Three. One, two, three. We'll pay this. <clears throat> yeah, I can't, if that goes off, he's just going to win. So I can't let that happen. Uh, I'm hoping that I can draw another I'm hoping that I can draw another um, blue mana source, so that way I can, you know, capsize it and then counter it, and then I don't have to worry about it anymore. But if he needs to replay that thing, he can replay that thing. I don't give a shit. And I'll just do the same thing, and I'll just do it every turn until I get a blue mana source, and then I'll only do it one more time, just one time. It's too bad. I would like to leave his protection up. That would be great, but it's not something I can do until I get some more mana as well. I mean, it is something I could do, but then he's drawing a bunch of cards, so I'd prefer that not to happen either. <clears throat> and I gotta capsize him on my turn, because otherwise he'll get his licks off at least once. 
So this thing can't be blocked. You got it. You got it. We're whittling each other down bit by bit. Would I make the trade? The grave robber and the sage? I don't think I would. Oh, that guy. That guy ain't no thing, man. So I think I just leave I leave Sig back for blocks. Leave Sig back for blocks unless I am able to play something else. I can play something else because he didn't play Una, so I can leave dissipate up and play Wake Thrasher. That's something. Yeah, that's something good. I think. Or, no, if I play you, I can't leave Dissipate up. But I think that's okay for now. Is that true? Board wipe will get me, though. Always yield. Board wipe's going to get me. Right, right. Get down there. And then this... And this. Okay, now uh, I, I can protect something with Sig, so I don't need to leave it back. Get in with all this shit. Board wipe gets me. I don't get to counter Una, but I do still have... Uh, okay, that just dies. I do still have the Sig protection going on, at least. And I still have Capsize in my hand, so I can bounce Una when she comes down the one time. Are you kidding? More mana. Grats! Welcome to reverse my games with you the last three times. Ha! <clears throat> yeah, there's Una. So I have to Capsize that loser or I'm dead. Already she can do one. She can do it for one. Can't block losers. Yeah. Alrighty. Blue source. Blue source. Blue source. Oh, right. Um, where is it? Here, the, here it is. Here's the triggered ability. Way up here being ridiculous. Oh, how silly. Always yield. Oh, hooray! So I could bounce this. That's a blue source. So I do that then. I just capsize and then I leave dissipate up because of the spring leaf drum. Yeah. It's a risk. Yeah, I can pay the, with the Thran Dynamo too. It's a risk, but I'm gonna take it. Okay, so now we have Dissipate up as long as I leave a guy back, which I shall do. And then like this. See you later, Grave Robber. All right, so with the fixed mana base, this deck's doing okay. Doing okay. Dissipating all Unas that come my way. Every single one. All 200. Would have been fun if not for Capsize. Well, I didn't buy it back. Then I might win next turn. Is that true? I think so. Poop. Tap. 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 Dissipate. Bow. <laughs> this game. Game star. He does get to draw a card, though, but that's okay. Worth it for no more Unas. Well, I mean, 
You could always replay Una again some other time, but not for now, not for a while. Yeah, that's how it goes sometimes. True name. Ah, oh, true name. Well, true name's got the blocks forever. Damn. At least you have that dick that nailed me in the past. <clears throat> all right, all right. So that's a... Uh, I mean, I, I'll give it protection from blue, this thing. Ugh, over here. Can I give everything protection from blue? Well, some of my stuff has island walk, so I think I just win. Cool. All right, so this and this. Bump. Bump. This is island walk. Correct. Protection from blue, bump, bump, schnomp, schnomp. Ah, G G. <coughs> Pardon. And is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, I, that was it just with this guy. <laughs> sure. All right, you know what, Sig? Way to go. Fixed your mana, and you managed to win the game. Good, I'm glad. You are lacking. Now I have to fix Mogus. Uh, but that's not a job for today.